Hi friends, welcome to SS Developers channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cool text effect with an animation using Photoshop. First, create a new document. Go to File, New, then in the pop up window, select your document size and hit OK. Background of this document is white, turn it into black. Go to Paint Bucket Tool. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Then click on the background to turn it into black. Now type your text with text tool. And set the text color to white. Type your text and change your font style and size. What do you want? When you complete, set your text position to middle of the document. To do this, press Ctrl A to select whole document. Now select Move tool. Now click Align Vertical Center and Align Horizontal Center. To deselect, press Ctrl D. Now duplicate your text. To do this, right click on the text layer and hit duplicate layer. Now right click on the duplicate layer and click on Restorize type to restorize the text layer. Now turn off visibility of the text layer. Now duplicate the Restorize layer. To do this, select Restorize layer and press Ctrl J. It is a shortcut to duplicate a layer. Now make sure upper layer is selected. Then go to Filter, Blur and Radial Blur. Now select Blur method to zoom and amount to 100% and hit OK. Now you see zoom blur effect is added to the text. But it is not looking good. We have to add more effect. Now press Ctrl and click the second layer to select only the text shape. You see, it's only select the text shape. The effect is on the upper layer. If you turn off the visibility of the second layer, you only see the effect layer and the selected text shape. Now make sure the upper layer that means the effect layer is selected and make sure that the foreground color is select to white now hold alt and press backspace now the text add to the effect layer now turn on the visibility of the second layer and deselect to deselect press ctrl D Now again see that the upper layer is selected, then go filter, blur, radial blur and hit OK. Now see that the effect is looking good, but we add this effect one more time. So do the previous steps, press Ctrl and click on the second layer. Now select the first layer and press Alt Backspace. Then go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur and hit OK. Now it is looking good. 
the effect is in the first layer and the text is in the second layer. Move the text layer half of the effect layer. Now name the text layer to text and effect layer to effect. Now set the text layer color to black. To do this, double click on the text layer to open layer style. Now select color overlay and set the color to black and hit OK. Now change the color of effect layer. Double click on the effect layer. Now select color overlay and set the color to red. Now it is looking nice. Now add an animation to it. To do this, go to timeline. If you can't see timeline in your workspace, then go to window and click timeline. Now create a video timeline. Now here we see three layer. We have an extra layer that is the original text layer. Delete this layer. Now press Ctrl 0. To fit the document to screen. Now select the rectangle shape tool. Set the color to black and draw it in the middle of the document. Now restorize the rectangle layer. To do this, right click on the rectangle layer and select Restorize layer. Now show that the rectangle layer is in the third position under the effect layer. Now convert the rectangle layer to smart object. To do this, right click on the rectangle layer and click convert to smart object. Now click this triangle of rectangle layer in the timeline to open timeline options. Now click on this clock of transform option to create a keyframe to the timeline. Now move the playhead to an another position. And press Ctrl T to free transform of the rectangle. And drag a corner with holding Shift and Alt to resize it. When resize, make sure that it covers all the text and effect. After resizing it, move the playhead to the left side of the timeline. Make visibility off of the background to see only the transform effect. Now play it, you see the rectangle size is increased over time. Now turn on visibility of the background. Here we try to add animation to the effect layer, but we animate the rectangle layer. So add the rectangle layer animation to the effect layer. To do this, make clipping mask effect layer to rectangle layer. To do this, hold alt and then click in the middle of the effect layer and rectangle layer. Or right click on the effect layer and select create clipping mask. Now we have done play the video if you like this video please subscribe our channel and see you in the next video